Hey everybody, this is Dave and today I'm going to talk to you about jailbreaking and my favorite tweaks. Now, this is Cydia and it's you get Cydia by installing Pangu from a Windows computer directly onto your iOS device. This is the iPhone 6 Plus. And when you put Cydia on, you get the Cydia icon and we'll open it up and you know, the first time you let everything load up and then I have some sources here. Uh, the original ones that came with the jailbreak, but I also added Bite Your Apple, and I have Insanely Repository, and then I added TetherMe.net, and then Tiny Developer Repo, and as well as the private Tiny Developer Repo. That's the guy who made Tiny Umbrella. So, all these sources in here, just to let you know that those are the sources. Now let me tell you some of my favorite tweaks. Uh, this is pretty much a what's on my iPhone uh, jailbreak wise. So we have Activator. And Activator is allowed, allows you to set certain uh, gestures or features uh, like pressing buttons or swiping that allows you to enact some sort of action. Uh, and it's very handy to have. So we're at 1.91. And we also have uh, AppSync Unified Beta, and that's pretty much for iOS 7 and less. But I do have it on this iOS 8, but unfortunately it doesn't work uh, currently. But I keep it on there. In case there's an update, then we'll be able to get um, AppSync and have all our cracked apps. So I have Better 5 Icon Dock, and what that allows you to do is it gives you five um, five icons on the bottom bar here and uh, you fit more on your ready bar okay your icon dock so the next thing I like to talk to you about is having CC settings in iOS 8 so CC settings if you open up your launcher at the bottom here you'll see that I have more icons here I'll be able to click on uh, the one all the way to the right for tethering so that it's quick actions and you will it adds more and if you turn your phone sideways so let's go back into Cydia and let's see what else I have so I have installed um, detailed battery usage and that's a good tweak because it allows you to go into settings and get better uh, idea of what's being used uh, mostly so here's battery usage and you'll see that it's just more comprehensive um, when it opens you'll see that there are some charts some graphs it uh, gives you an idea better than the stock iOS uh, usage so that's nice to have also we have I put uh, Googeary and that allows you to root your searches with Google. Uh, I'm not currently using it right now. Now I have Gremlin fam Framework and Gremlin Plugin Pack, and that's basically for when I install the private Pandy. Uh, you need Gremlin, but they haven't been updated for iOS 8. But as soon as they are, uh, I'll be able to have Pandy on here where you can tap to import songs from Pandora. So I have iTunes Radio Scrubber and iTunes Radio Unlimited. And that allows you to have a scrubber on iTunes uh, Radio. So you can fast forward and rewind. And iTunes Radio Unlimited, you could skip as many times as you want. I also have Movie Land, and that's an app. It's a membership-based app. It allows you to pay like nine bucks for a lifetime membership, and you get movies that are still in the theater. And that's the app version. You can also do this through Safari, but I also purchased um, My Y 8.0, and that works pretty good. Allows you to get hotspots and uh, you know tether your internet connection from your carrier uh, to another device that you ha that has Wi-Fi. And no slow animations. That allows you to speed up the animation time that iOS gives you when you open up an app just jumps right to it. I have now now and it's an activator action that allows you to set sort of some activation like 
press and hold your home button and now now Google Voice with the Google app will open up. Pandora skips, I use that in Pandora so that I could just continuously skip through. Pandy is what I told you about when I was talking about Gremlin. Um, it's not updated for iOS 8, but as soon as it is, it will show up there. I have the latest Pangu, the latest uh, Substrate, and Tether Me. That's just like my, uh, my why, but Tether Me uses uh, the native uh, tethering, and I'll show you that in a second. So see my animations, how quick they open? That's uh, having that tweak in there. So my why actually comes in as a app. Uh, it's not in your settings like Tether Me is. Now Tether Me is in, if you go here, you click on cellular and personal hotspot. Usually it will tell you to visit the website or make the call, but here's personal hotspot. You could turn it on and it will actually tether your internet connection to another Wi-Fi device. So I have two uh, tethering apps on. One is a standalone app and the other ones in settings, obviously. So let's go back into City again. And I have TV Land. That's just like Movie Land. And uh, that's just another app to get free TV shows and things like that. And also untethered uh, Hey Siri. And what that allows you to do is you don't have to have your phone connected uh, to power in order to enact uh, Hey Siri. So if you mention the phrase Hey Siri when you're plugged in, but now with this uh, this uh, tweak here, you don't have to be plugged in. And basically you find that in settings under Siri. Uh, let me show you first general Siri. And now it will add this always. So you can say the phrase Hey Siri and it'll open up uh, Siri by using your voice. So let me show you the, that the tweaks do now show up in settings. I have the activator, the CC settings, force good fit. That's another one. And that uh, if apps haven't been made for iOS to fit the uh, iPhone plus six, six plus, then this will uh, force them to make a good fit. So that's pretty much what I have on my phone right now. And of course, when things come out, as they come out, I will show you more. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will answer them right away. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.